In this tutorial, we'll see how to modify the drivers of TP-Link TLWN722N version 3 or version 2 Wi-Fi adapter to enable the monitor mode and make it ready for packet injection. Let's get started. So let's open up the virtual machine. I'm just using the VMware virtual machine. You can use whatever that works best for you. I find VMware works to be like, it just works much faster compared to the Oracle virtual box. But you can choose whatever that works best for you. So let's type the passwords and run it. So let's go to the applications, click and go to the terminal emulator, and then we're going to execute the list of commands. I I, I just opened up that in a notepad. So these are the commands that we're going to implement like we gotta follow everything in order so first up we got the sudo apt update we'll do that sudo apt update so you had to enter the password for now so once you're done with that click enter and then the update just carries on and after some time the updates will eventually get completed next thing that is um, sudo apt upgrade and press y for s and then this update it, this this time it takes a pretty long time compared to the update because we're going to upgrade every component in our Kali Linux machine so it's going to take a while Sometimes it just tries to connect, but the servers won't respond properly. So what you're going to do is like click Control C, hold the Control C button, then the terminal, the process just gets terminated. And after it is terminated, you gotta initiate the process once again using the same command, and it just starts where it is left. Type in sudo apt dist upgrade plus y and then it runs for some time and I'm just stopping it because I've already did upgraded everything so I'm just stopping this at this point so let's reboot system using this command or you can just select the reboot by any method so I'm in the password and just go to the terminal once again and then type the next command sudo apt install pc and once you're done with that we're just going to do the others sudo apt build essential and then type the sudo apt get install libdev and then we're going to open up a folder I'm just opening up CD desktop again and then git clone so we're gonna copy that file we're gonna use the root permission right now sudo i and type echo blacklist rtl So go to the terminal once again and then do the next step that is go get into the file and then open up that folder and we're going to enter this command since I've already did this so I'm just going to terminate the process by pressing control C so I'm going to connect the Wi-Fi adapter now it prompts so it prompts this message you can also kind of do it this way go to the emulator once again we'll see if the USB was detected it is in fact you can see tp-link version 2 slash version 3 and when you type in iwconfig and you can see LAN 0 but the mode is set to auto sometimes you can see the mode being managed just don't worry about that it works pretty fine it doesn't matter 
Now we're going to stop the process that's going on in the Kali operating systems. For this, we had to type this command sudo mod check. So these are the process that is going on. So we're going to kill this process just to ensure uh, safe. So this process has been killed. Now you can see the network icon is disabled. So type in sudo mod ng start lan. So this will start the monitor mode. You can see in my case it says monitor mode enabled. So you can see the monitor mode it says enabled. Let's check that with the config. And there it goes. Monitor mode is enabled. That's pretty much it. So we're going to check if we could detect some packets that's going to be sent through the Wi-Fi. So we're gonna say sudo airmon ng dash lan wlan sorry and yeah you can see some packets that's being sent and we're gonna check the packet inject so we're gonna check the packet injection just type in this command sudo ng there it goes injection is working that's pretty much it and thank you guys for watching until the end